I don't know if this saying had been said, but the in the in inability to take actions is also the inability to make solutions. This is what is happening in Ferguson right now. Sure, the pro you know the the thing or two have been discussed already for the past week. We know that Michael Brown was sh you know was injustly shot to death by an officer, but my beef is this is already in second week. And, and yet, so far, we don't have anything. We don't have anything from the city mayor to the chief of police to the nearby city mayors to the governor and to the nearby state governors that surrounds whatever state is Ferguson is. As, uh, I'm going to assume that it's owned in Missouri because I really don't want to check on these things. I really know, you don't really want to check on what is happening in Ferguson because I have so much to do. But what really what really drives me, what really drives me is the you know the ability you know the uh, chief of police for not actually doing anything in order, you know, any disciplinary actions that can be done for the police officer that shot Michael Brown. I don't want I don't want to dive into this who shot who's right, who's wrong. But that you know but the uh, but the thing is, I don't you know the thing is the higher ups must act on this. We um, people don't want to hear you know people don't hear anything from them, and that is what is wrong here. Nothing as in nothing has been said. Nothing has been done. No disarming. No no con uh, condemn these actions. Says by the city mayors, since by the governors, say by the uh, surrounding city mayors. Nothing. Nothing, you know, the inability to actually adapt to these kinds of situations and the inexperience of certain you know, politicians and police officers and how to actually, like, calm down, calm down in these kinds of situations. This is just, this is just embarrassing on your part. This is not just embarrassing. You are, you know, me inside, I'm laughing at you right now. Because in a third, you know, in a third world country like Thailand or the Philippines, whether there are protests, regardless of what happened, uh, police, uh, the chief of police are going to say that um, we're going to give you maximum tolerance, but they'll just go overboard, and the people will follow. And in this case, in this police, we didn't hear from the chief of police that he's going to ensure that, hey, um, we're going to. Uh, we're going to have disciplinary actions with this police officer that shot Michael Brown. We're going to disarm him. We're also going to leave him from service. We're going to have an investigation to, with that too. And also, if possible, in this kind of situation, especially, it really went public. It really went to a certain level that it's, all, it's already a, a silly, you know, silly situation, a public caucus. A public dialogue but so far none has been given none has been taken this is what really you know this is what really just scratched my head that no one had looked on this perspective no one have said anything except for the protesters no assurance from the city mayor no assurance from the governor no assurance from the chief of police these three these three are supposed to be your pillars of peace and order, you know, of civility within a state and specifically in Ferguson in a city. What does that show you? Their inability to actually, you know, actually absorb the situation and develop, develop solutions. Heck, even main event uh, told me before. I uh, told me. In a tweet, uh, or over conversation on Twitter, that the uh, you know the city mayor just laugh it off, which is really disgusting. I'm going to share you something. Back in 2010, the net the hostage crisis happened. Sadly, uh, the Hong Kong, uh, you know, some Hong Kong nationals got killed, some Filipinos got killed because of a mishap over the negotiation. The hostage, you know, the hostage taker went went amok because his. His needs wasn't being addressed. He wants to be back in service. And Mayor Alfredo Lim said that, uh, you know, 
back in the day, back in that, uh, back in that year, 2000, uh, 2010, city mayor, the city mayor back then was Mr. Alfredo Lim, a former senator. And yes, he admitted, he admitted outright that yes, we failed. We screwed it up. Also, the chief of police during that time, I can't remember his name, said that we're not, you know, we screwed up. We really did wrong with this negotiation. We really, uh, we really didn't handle this uh, hostage crisis well, as we expected. But we're going to assure you that uh, we're going to reduce up this happening again in the future. That is just that is what the people needs at Ferguson. That certain, certain, you know, that certain hour of in, you know, assurance. But Ferguson, I don't see that. I really don't. The tear gassing, the um, the breakage of anything that can record videos, audios, nothing. Because the city mayor don't say anything about this. He just sits on the office and do nothing. Just watch the situation on TV. We need action here. Certain action have some certain repercussions, and these repercussions have to be uh, have to be mended by a, another certain action that have to be done. This is ridiculous. Seriously, if anything, if you are in Ferguson, if you're nearby Ferguson, please ask your mayor, ask your mayors, ask your city mayors that hey, we need to help Ferguson. Do not send your people there. Send. Send a police force there and actually make the city mayors near Ferguson to talk to this lazy mayor that don't that really don't do anything for his people. Do you get what I'm trying to convey here? Please, please, as in please, if anything, do this. Do this for your own sake. Because right now, I you know I live in a third world country. And Goodness, we have tons of experience when it comes to this. My goodness, please do the necessary actions that will mend these certain repercussions. That's all being asked. I am Homer, and you know what? I think I'm going to look back on the certain protests that went wrong, just because the certain inability to, uh, inability for certain big wigs in the gov in the government. And the police force results into this. Just embarrassing. Really it is. See you later.